Many people might not be familiar with the term yellow journalism, but yellow journalism was basically a writing, a description, a journal, a entry that would basically just have exaggerations within the writing. A bunch of adding on sequences, things that pretty much did not happen or was taken way out of proportion. In fact, the term yellow journalism was born from a rivalry between the two newspaper giants of the era. Joseph Polzer, the New York World Times newspapers, and then William Randolph Hearst, the New York Journal's newspapers. Starting in 1895, Polzer printed a comic strip featuring a boy in a, in a yellow nightshirt entitled The Yellow Kid. Hertz then poached the cartoon's creator and then ran the strip in his newspaper, a critic at New York Press, in an effort to shame newspaper sensational addict approach, coined the term yellow kid journalism after the cartoon. The term was just shortened to yellow journalism. During this time, William Randolph, Randolph Hearst and Joseph Pulitzer were at the top when it came to newspapers. While they used topics such as romance, hyperbole, any sort of topic they could use to persuade viewers that's looking at these newspapers to stay in the depth, to react to it. In 1998, following the bombing of the U.S. Maine, William Randolph Hearst sent his reporters, Frederick Remington, to report what happened. Frederick told him that nothing, hap nothing happened while he went there. But Hearst quoted that, you first the pictures, I'll first the war. Remember the main, remember the main, to hell with Spain was a common, common thing they put in the newspapers. April 21st, 1898, the United States declared war on Spain. Many people will say the media, this is a media driven war based, based on the fact that the media, the people, is what really started this war. Them listening, them demanding that we go to war after listening, looking at these journals. The war involved the United States, Spain, Cuba, and the Philippines. Another factor that really drove this war was not just the people reacting to it, but the government having to make a stand, having to make a decision on doing something, declaring war, because they're watching people rage and s s get mad and just... And it just put the government in a tight spot to where they had to just make a decision. During the American-Spanish War, it lasted about five months with the result of a total death cost of 379 soldiers, which was basically due to the fact of yellow journalism. The, but at the end of the day, the war did eventually lead to the U.S. conquering and getting the rights of Cuba. Even through today's era, we still see examples of yellow journalism going through magazines, newspapers, etc. Though it may not actually be yellow journalism as that was pretty much banned. You weren't allowed to do that. Government was more strict into what comes into newspapers.